All right, welcome back. You're lucky, man. Okay, Nico's off. He's not feeling well today, so I had to help the team get some guests. And um, double time from uh, Rich Valdez today and also Dr. Dean Hart, two of the best out there. Um, Dr. Dean is still with us. Now, I'm a big sports freak, Doc. I love sports. I mean, I grew up on baseball, football, played hockey in high school, and never really got into basketball. Um, but, you know, baseball, unfortunately, I'm a Met fan, and the Mets suck. But, I mean, still, it's something to do until they're eliminated. Um, but I just feel like this whole baseball thing is going to be a failed experiment, which got everybody's hopes up. And yesterday, we see the Miami Marlins had, like, 15 people test positive. They quarantined in Philadelphia. Philly was supposed to play the Yankees, so they canceled the Philly-Yankee game. Isn't this going to be just a bunch of fits and starts if they try to run it like this? Well, for baseball, they're the first test rats, lab rats we've used. But it's a beautiful thing that we're trying this out on very healthy athletes that probably, unless they have a rare Kawasaki-like disease, they're probably not going to die and allow the flu get better and come back COVID negative and survive it. The only thing is those... Coaches, you got to be careful about the elderly and the high blood pressure patients, uh, coaches, and people around that support the players. This is great. Now the NHL do it differently. The NFL do it differently. The NBA, uh, the NBA does it their way, and we'll refine it. I'm not as worried, worried as much as a complete baseball season as what it tells us as scientists about what the outcome will be if we send our kids back to school because this is a month to go and this is the greatest thing the sports world has ever done for our society. And they, I don't know if they realize how great it is the trying. So you think um, somewhere in there in this whole restart of baseball with a shortened season there's some grand experiment going on to see, you know, if healthy asymptomatic people can, you know, coalesce with each other and then track the tr or track and trace it. Or you think this is just an exercise in what will happen if we let kids go back to school? I think that there isn't intentional experimentation. I think they open the game for financial reasons where this does to deal with stocks in this uh, show, too. Let's face it, it's all about money. But uh, these are super athletes. Who better to be tested and become also, on the side, such a great microbiological experiment? Can we control people playing and doing things? And how much do we have to do it? If we have to restart the baseball game, that's not fun. But it's better if you wait a week and then we continue. I want to know the information because society will benefit. And I want to watch sports because I love watching sports. But they're, two different, they're doing two things at once, which is great. All right. Well, look, we got to leave it there. That's uh, Dr. Dean Hart. He's one of the best in the business. He knows about all this microbiology and transmission of viruses and disease. And... Uh, all right, my friend, polish off that whistle pig. I appreciate you doing a little double duty for us, and uh, we're going to need you again soon because there's a lot of info out there, and you're great at breaking it down. Thanks a lot, Dean. I appreciate it. Hey, that's from Vermont. Yeah. All right. Good old Vermont. All right, my friend. Thank you, Dean. You're the bomb.